Hey designers, what's going on? My name is FimeMD. I'm a UI UX designer in Toronto. And today we are going to finish the last episode of the sitemap. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing what I'm gonna do is open up Adobe XD, which is what I've done right over there. And then the second thing is what I'm gonna do is open up my notepad. So on the previous video, you guys have watched me create a sitemap on my notepad. So I'm gonna now, I'm going to take that information, which is right over there. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take that and put it on Adobe XD and create the whole sitemap flow. So obviously while I design, you guys want to see that. So let's go dig more in. I need a better catchphrase. You can choose however you want to do your sitemap layout, whatever is fun for you and exciting for you, but just don't add any crazy designs to it because at the end of the day is you will hand over the sitemap to, uh, to the technical director, um, UX designers, uh, web developers, programmers. So it should be easier for a non designer to read your sitemap. So, Let's name it uh, Live Boho Way Sitemap. Let me know if you guys like my new setup, by the way. I feel like a serious YouTuber now. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, so I am not going to do that. I am going to take my notes right over here and just paste it over here. Why is it like that? Okay, so as you already know, which is pretty basic, the first thing, just, let's just duplicate this, yeah. So the first thing is the home page. So you are going to write home or main, whatever you guys like. That's just, I'm gonna do everything on in caps, by the way, just for fun. Uh, 14 is good, okay. And now I'm going to do, create some sort of a base around it. So it's a little bit better. There we go, bold that, I don't want this. Let's do five. Five is better? No, let's do eight. There we go, eight, this can go right over here. Make sure it's properly aligned and everything. You know, you don't, you don't wanna embarrass yourself at the same time. So this is how all the pages will look like. Uh, usually, majority of the time you'll see that the sitemaps have main pages across the website so you can do something like this right and then just ungroup everything so you can easily type the text that's inside so obviously you have the main page and then from the main page you would probably want the user to pick an option so it could be uh, as we have seen on the website I just go right on the site for a second Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So this is a small tweak that I've made uh, on our, my client website. Uh, I just I just did a small like brand change, like color change and small things like that. Applied the new logo, made the navigation a bit better and categorized it better. So anyways, uh, as you can see, the client wants navigations over here, which is a good idea. So uh, shop now, yoga, meditation contact us so on and so forth so in the previous video we obviously have listed everything so i don't really need to go to the website so now over here it's going to be shop now so let's do that shop uh, now so now shop now is a product listing page so you would want to just for the sake of it you can put product list and then I guess just make it like that and size 10 should be good enough. And then, oops, boom. And there you go. Let's just bring this guy a little bit like that. Okay, oops. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, and then the second page would be duplicating this, bring it here. So now you, you need to figure out your, the web flow of this project. So obviously when they go to the product listing page, where would the users go? And this right here is a product detail page, which is what every e-commerce website has. They have a product detail page and then you can either do add now or 
or buy now okay so let's do that and then right after the product detail page you have your options so let's duplicate this twice like i said if you want you can have your outline say for example to whatever color you like you can do this you can do all black or whatever floats your boat there's no right and, right and wrong answer so this right here add to cart buy now we're going to apply it here so let's do um add to cart and then buy it now all right we're good let's do that perfect okay so this so far so good and refund policy terms of service uh terms of services privacy policy like you don't need to add that in your sitemap if you want you can put it like at the bottom it doesn't really need to connect to it to anything um, contact us page and newsletter you can also put th that one somewhere down here uh, okay so so and then the second one would be uh, collections let's do one of these guys accessories oops okay all caps perfect Okay, and then the next one could be this one here let's just get rid of the ones that we have already done that way it'll be easier so these are done um home page is done okay great i'm gonna take that uh center all caps this is these are pages itself and they are the main pages which the client is going to use to sell their product Okay, so now what happens in the yoga accessory page? Let's just explain. Let me explain that to you right now. So with the yoga accessory, you are going to see uh, it will take you to a yoga accessory listing page. So um, over here, shop now. So when you click on the shop now, it takes you to the product uh, list page. It will do the same thing for yoga accessories. So if you want to be a nerd, you can just. Oops, oops. Okay, you can just literally put it like that. Boom. Okay, which is a product list page. Now what happens is once they click here, they will go to the product detail page, which is right here. And if, if the user wants, they can either add to cart or go to buy it now. So make sure to draw, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys that after. So essential, I mean, sorry, I'm just not, in the right headspace right now because my car is in the shop and I'm doing my best to operate properly here. <laughs> so please be, so please bear with me. Yes, 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 that makes more sense. Okay, so this is the same thing as a product list, list page. So let's do that properly as well. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, what do you wanna add here? You can put, I guess, contact us if you like. caps oops which is also all caps there you go okay so far so good okay perfect now what you need to do is you have to figure out where to put a create an account sign in so majority of the time you'll see on the e-commerce websites um, you'll see the sign in and create an account are pretty much it's if this was an island, I'll probably say sign in and create an, an, an account would be somewhere here with the bridge and this is the e-commerce website. So therefore you don't really need to add it um, somewhere here. It could go somewhere down, say so, something like that. So you can do that here. So therefore, um, Sign in and then create an account. Oh, we also have search by the way. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to describe this flow. So this is where the UX that comes into place. So what happens when the user is on the main page, where can they go? So what are their options? So when the, the main is main page is like your house. So when they enter your house, 
where, where are they allowed to go and not allowed to go. So therefore, let's draw some lines and arrows. So it will look something like this here. I have already, I need, I'm just gonna take my lines from here and put it here. Okay, cool. So now I have my shapes, so feel free to use whatever shapes you guys want. Um, in this situation, I'm going, I'm just gonna go as simple as possible. So let's use this arrow here and this one here. And I am going to say, now I'm gonna say like, you know what? When you're on the main page, users can go to the right here users can go to the shop now page or they can also they can also go to the yoga accessory they can go to right here let's bring this person right there you go here and you're there okay perfect now we can do the flow over here. So now what happens is when they, when they go to shop now is they can go to the product detail page. And then from there, they can go to the best part of designing a sitemap is because you try to, uh, it's, it's more clear to you before jumping into the wireframe stage you'd realize that oh i'm missing this page i'm missing that page so you can figure that out by doing a sitemap that's the whole purpose of it okay so now from product detail page to add to cart you go to buy it now and then it just pretty much flows right after there so you go to buy it now go to checkout and then from checkout obviously you got your confirmation page you can also have the user go from the product detail page let's do it here because we, we might need room here yeah so you can go from the product detail page to to buy it now so you can just extend the line all the way here um, take this guy make it go like that and oh oops how did that happen okay go like that make sure to always save your work guys always save your work and then you can take this arrow and just one two three back is much better and then there you go see so from the product detail page you can go straight to the buy it now you cannot go to the checkout page because you have to go either to one of these processes to go to the checkout page um okay however if you have already made your purchases you can go straight to the checkout page and then give your credit card details and stuff like that which is in the checkout page obviously okay so you can do that um that's more clear so so you have your shop now which is a product list and then you have your product detail page Add to cart, buy it now, check out confirmation. Um, or you can just go from the product detail page all the way to buy it now and then check out confirmation. So far so good. Now here, with the yoga page here, you can do the exact same thing. Okay. Now the question is, do you need to create, do, you, do I need to duplicate this and paste it all the way down here? Like add to cart, buy it now, check out so on and so forth. Wait, what do you think the answer is? If you have answered no, good job. So you can just take this right here, duplicate it, say, let's just do it here. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go. So as you can see from the yoga product detail page, you can go straight to add to cart and then pretty much follows. Or you can take this guy, oops, just duplicate this one bring it up like this 
let's do that i hope you know what i'm trying to do yeah if you guessed the right man good job and that's right you can go like this and just boom see there you go so yoga detail page you got two options add to cart or buy it now okay so far it is looking great so this is pretty much the same thing we can do so let's just take uh okay so that's that and the contact us page is pretty much taking this go like this Okay, and you can also obviously duplicate this and make it. I can take this and just put it right here and put the circle thingy over here, which will tell me that you can either go to the main page. I mean, you can either go from the main to contact us page or to the newsletter. Okay, um, this could be floating around, guys. You don't need to be as like that detailed because. This is a search engine, and I feel like if you want the best search engine, you kind of need to build a sitemap separately for it. Um, this is pretty straightforward as well. You can, because it's an e-commerce site, and I'm doing this example, I can just do that. Like take this guy, go like that, boom, and there you go. So you can go to the search engine or you can also go all the way here. Take the small guy here and just keep it quite simple actually. Duplicate it. See, there you have it. Pretty nice, straightforward sitemap. Okay, I hope this whole process made sense to you guys. Man, I loved it. I honestly loved, I love creating sitemap. I think it's the best way to actually sit, think, and uh, go through this entire flow. This is the pages where it talks about a refund policy, terms of services, and so on and so forth. So you can just take this guy and just place it somewhere. Uh, align it here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. And if you have not already, please subscribe, click on the bell icon and like today's video. The next episode, which will be on next Sunday, it will be an introduction about wireframe. Now I know that I've mentioned about card sorting last year. I've already made a video about it. So if you guys are very curious and want to learn how to do it, check out the link in description below. And then the next Sunday, well, which is coming up, I will have the introduction about wireframe and then we'll just move on forward from there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.